Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your preview for Man United versus Nottingham Forest. It's an easy one. I think this is an easy one. Uh, of course, Manchester United have one foot in this Carabao Cup final thanks to a resounding 3-0 win away at Nottingham Forest last week. Uh, obviously, we're going to go through the lineup. So in this show, guys, we are going to cover the team news, the current form, head-to-head -head predicted starting 11, and the score prediction. So be sure to stick around until the end. Obviously, before we get started, don't forget to smash a like on the stream. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Ten Hag is expecting to rotate. We obviously knew that uh, for this game. Um, Alejandro Garnacho, Hey Maguire, Scott McTominay, Fred, and Victor Lindelof are all amongst uh, those who could actually play in this match. While Jaden Sancho has returned to training, we might be able to see him in this match. I think if there is a better situation to put Jaden Sancho back into the team, I think this could be it. Uh, Christian Eriksen, however, was seen leaving Old Trafford on crunches after that FA Cup win over Reading. So it seems unlikely that he will play in this match. Obviously, he's not going to be fit. Even if he was fit, I don't think we should we should uh, risk him or play him in this match. So let's just go over quickly with my starting lineup. So my predicted 11, this is what I think is going to start. Obviously, what you're looking at now is the team that has started against Reading. So we got to make a few changes here. So just bear with me here and let me know if you guys uh, disagree or agree. Just let me know in the chat and I'll try my best to go through all the questions David De Gea and go. Are we going to stick with David De Gea for this game? Why would we? I think he's not needed. He's not needed for this game. He's not needed for this game. I don't see us, like I said, I don't see us conceding 5 or 4. So David De Gea has to come out here. And I'm going to put uh, Tom He in for this matchup. So if we're not going to give them games in these kind of matches, I don't know when they're going to play. Uh, back 4. I don't think we should make any changes. Juan Basaka will stay there. Uh, Dalot is not available, so Juan Basaka will definitely have to stay there. Harry Maguire and Lindelof did okay against Reading. Uh, would you want to put back Martinez and Varane for this game? I don't think so. Why would you do that? We have two or three days after the next game against, I believe, Crystal Palace. So on Saturday, we have another game against Crystal Palace. So. This game is done and dusted, so this is the time to, to rest our main guys and give a chance to the likes of Harry Maguire and Lindelof. Like I mentioned earlier, he's not available. He's on crunches, so he's not going to be playing this game. We don't know. God knows how, how, how long he's going to be out. So hopefully he can return to the team, but we're just going to have to take him off here. I was thinking maybe. Obviously, Fred definitely going to play now. The fact that Ericsson is out, I think Fred will be here. But I also think we should rest Casemiro. No need for protection for this back four against Nottingham Forest. It's not like we're, play uh, we're playing uh, a difficult opponent. Uh, we already scored three goals like I mentioned earlier. So Casemiro as well should be rested for this matchup because in three days we have another game. So Mano should come in. Look, I would have gone with McFred as always, but every fan is actually tired of looking at McFred starting week in, week out last season. So I don't think we should play those two together. So Mano with Fred might work. What do you guys think? But I think this could be the lineup that we would see. Mano, obviously, Eric Ten Hag has played him consistently from off the bench. Every time we're winning the game against Reddy, he came on as well. So I do expect uh, Mano to be given a chance to start to start in this match. Here's the question mark with Anthony. So are you going to start Anthony or are you going to give a chance to Sancho? Anthony has done well against Reading. Uh, probably deservingly uh, man of the match performance against Reading. Some people were saying Casemiro. It could have been Casemiro. It could have been Anthony. Uh, just to put it that way. Anthony just completely dominated uh, the opponents in that match. Uh, would you would you rest him 
or would you want him to continue his rhythm? So you don't want him to lose his momentum. That's what I'm looking at. So for that reason, I think Anthony should start and get your match rhythm going, get your confidence up. You should continue uh, to do the same. So I think Anthony should stay there. Bruno Fernandez is another one that needs uh, resting. Tell Street is the guy to come in and replace him. We've seen this last game around against Reddy. Tell Street came on for Bruno Fernandez. He played that as a number 10. So in this match, we should give him uh, a start. We should give him a start and Bruno needs to be rested. Again, another game coming up. I don't have to, um, I know I have said it like a million times already, but Bruno has to uh, has to be rested as well. Hell Street uh, goes in as a number 10. Hopefully he can help us create chances. Rashford, okay. So Rashford, he's out the team for me again. Obviously he's not being dropped. He's the most informed striker right now in the league. Uh, but we're gonna have to rest him. We we could not, we cannot afford to lose Marcus Rashford. Like guys, you don't understand. Like we really cannot afford to play without Marcus Rashford. If Mar uh, Marcus Rashford gets injured, like Eriksen and Donny Van Der Veek uh, did, we're gonna be in big big trouble. Ah, uh, guess who's coming in? Guess who's coming in? Garnacho. Garnacho will be coming in. Eric Ten Hag has given Garnacho a lot of game time from off the bench and some of the games he he also started as well. Would not be surprised to see Garnacho starting on the left. Uh, Chela says uh, maybe Sancho can go for Rashford. Exactly. Exactly. That could definitely happen. By the way, that could definitely happen. So we could see we could see this. So we could see Eric Ten Hag going like this. But what I'm thinking, he's not just going to push Sancho straight into the starting 11. I think he's going to bring him in maybe the last 30 minutes, the last 40 minutes. The same way he did with Garnacho, uh, Pelstri. I think he's going to do that. Slowly but surely, he's going to come into the team. Up top, of course, who else? Who else? Uh, Weghorst up front for me. Clearly, we don't have any other option. Rashford is going to be rested. Anthony Martial is not fit. Are you going to play Ilanga up front? I don't see it. I'd rather see Weghorst up front than uh, Ilanga. To be honest with you, Ilanga is just, he needs to go. He needs to go. I think we've given him enough chance. He needs to go to a, a championship team or a, another team and get minutes under his belt. And maybe, maybe he could return and be a squad player. So I'm going to give you my prediction, guys. So before I do, before I do, really, really quickly, let's go and take a look at Team Sport. So coming into this game, you're seeing uh, United won three games. We've lost one game. We've drawn one game. Nottingham Forest, similar. I mean, they've lost two games, uh, won two games, and and drawn one. Uh, head to head, okay. So head to head, last time we played them in the Premier League, we beaten them 3-0 at home and EFL Cup. First leg, again, we did it again, 3-0. So what do you think is gonna happen now? What do you think is gonna happen now? <laughs> uh, so let's just review the team that I picked. Tom Heaton and goal, like I said. Juan Basaka on the right, Maguire and Lindelof. The center backs on the left, we have Malasia in the middle of the park. Fred Maino up front. I'm going with Garnacho on the left, Anthony on the right. Hell Street as a number 10 and up top the striker is where court. So this is my starting 11. This is my predicted 11 uh, versus Nottingham Forest. If you agree or disagree, please do let me know in the comment sections which lineup or which player you disagree with. Score prediction, I'm gonna go 2-0. I'm gonna go 2-0 Man United. Uh, given the size of United's lead, it's likely we will look to contain Forest. I mean, I don't think we're just gonna bombard, uh, bombard uh, Nottingham Forest. I think we're just gonna try to contain the game. Uh, with that in mind, it's hard. I mean, it's hard to see us scoring a lot of goals in this match, especially if we make rotation to the team. If we make a lot of rotation to this, to this team. We're not gonna score three, four, five. So I think it's just gonna be a narrow win one nail or two nail obviously that will definitely take us to the final but that is it guys that is it i think i've answered all your questions that is it thank you all for uh tuning in thank you for watching like i said before you leave don't forget to smash a like on the stream subscribe to the channel 
if you guys are new and do leave your team your starting 11 in the comment section below guys don't forget to do that and also give me your score prediction for this match and yeah that is it guys thanks for watching and i'll definitely see you on the next one peace